look for footwork, kicking the ball till it's dark. It's only one nil. We've only been playing one minute. Call ourselves grasshoppers. They look more like lussy caterpillars to me. Things are different in ice dancing, you know. No nasty heavy ball, no tension, no aggro. Just applause, flowers. If you went ice dancing with two vests and a body warmer under your gear, you'd never lift yourself off the ice. If things don't improve soon, I'm for packing in. We might just improve if some people turned up on time. Dad, what time do you call this? Mr. Forrester at school said punctuality were a must. The match must have stated by now. They'll be using one at subs till I get there. Business comes first, son. Besides, I have to hang at the shop to handle one of those big bets. In! damage. Oh, great. Both my substitutes down with flu. We've got ten men out there, two goals down, and you two swan in like little and large. I don't know why I bother. Things will change when I get up there. They need you today, Ross. Your flair. We need width on the flanks. Yeah, I want a kiss for every goal I get, bombshell. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Watching up here like Prince Charming halfway through the ball. Oh, Would you mind? Wait a minute, wait a minute, listen. There'll be no thumping while I'm manager of this team. Now look, it's only 5 0. Oh, only is it? Last week the Thunderbirds were 7 up against us. Only because you were the ref. Yeah. 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 And that goal I scored weren't offside. The superior speed took me past the ball. Oh, lads, tuck in. There's still plenty of time to win this one. There's that like a full oh, belly geez. to produce flatulence. If win could win football matches, we'd all be oh, world beaters. The just shut the scene is gunning, passing the folks along the road just as they were standing. Is it? All the lads and lasses there, all with smiling faces. Coming across the, the uh, Brendan Foster tradition, you know. Keep on running. I've been watching the uh, performance. Eyes in the back of your head, eh, Geordie? Oh, a patter merchant, is it? Your idea to feed kids crisps and nuts at half time, is it? I've been watching you lot for 20 minutes from behind that hedge. I'll start at the back, if you don't mind. Oh, I'll be glad of your advice. Any goalie who uses his mouth more than his gloves is a duck egg. <laughs> I think your mum's been feeding you too much self-raising flour in her cakes. 
Then before you start to scoff, son, think about your contribution. I've seen nothing so daft since I got a clockwork duck for Christmas. <laughs> now, I'm sorry to lay it on the table, Chief, but uh, if I was running a bunch of posers and pony lookalikes, I'd start a safari park, not a football team. I hope you're a lot better next time I see you. Some went to the dispensary to ask for Dr. Typical gob-blasting Geordie. They come in my betting shop, spout another all about football. Newcastle United, this, Malcolm McDonald, that. Dreamers. Loudmouth dreamers, that's what they are. Why like Kevin Keegan went, there's a mystery to me, Albert. Maybe. But Newcastle's a great club. And so can we be if we work at it. There'll be an extra training session tomorrow at oh, seven. Oh, yeah. Now get out there! We're only five down! Oh, 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 Ten past seven. I said seven. Prompt. Didn't I? Yeah. There's no discipline. There's no nothing in this club. I want kids who are hungry for the game. For no fun for three, Albert. Jolly was great. Guess what, Albert? French kids think no are paying 30 quid for a lamb's wool tennis shoot with a cobra on the pocket. Get away. Right. You lock and start the training. <laughs> what do you think I'm running here? Right, all of you, get around, come on, the lot of you. Give me that ball. Now, look, we've been duffed up by every team in the league, and here's you lot plugged into everything but football. I'm about ready to pack the whole thing in. I am not the best football manager in the world, and you're not the best players either. We've tried to get results, and we haven't got them. I think we should disband. Come on, Albert. Come on, Albert. Hello, lads. Training going well. Oh. Well, I'll soon wipe those depressed looks off your faces. Now, how about this for an incentive? Um, if, no, when you get to the Crompton Cup final, I'll buy you a whole new set of strip. Yeah. Oh, no, no, not like the last. No, 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 this will be top quality. Well, how about a trophy for each of the top three goal scorers? 50p a goal. 10p a corner. Sorry, grasshoppers and gentlemen, your time is up. Aye, more ways than one. I could have sworn we were booked here till 8 o'clock. Was this here my keep fit lassies kick off at 7.15? Well, they're probably a better bet than this lot. Be my guest. Well, never mind about that, lads. A minor hiccup. Now, how about discussing this over chips, hamburgers and uh, mushy peas? Yeah. Well, you're better off stopping with me. Right, ladies, number it up first. And... And one, two... What a come down. He must be hard up. Who is he anyway when he's at home? That is Joswell Jossie Blair, known from the age of 13 as the Cramper. Yeah, looks a bit cramped, too. Yeah. Well, look, he's played umpteen times for England boys and England youth, so just you watch it. Well, why haven't we heard of him then? Because he was injured in his very first game at St James's Park for Newcastle United. He was tackled from behind and he never played again. He'd fit well with us lot then. Yeah. I've often thought he'd make a great manager, but he never seemed very interested. Well, maybe now's the time to get him involved. Oi! Come on, Dad! Look, let me do it my own way, Ross. I'll explain that the team need his knowledge. Inspiration? Say we need a boost. No! If he thinks we're serious as a team, then the rest will follow. <laughs> Morning. Out for a walk, is it? No. I knew you'd be passing. I was waiting for you. Well, you're a bit young for me, aren't you, pet? Hey, weren't you the bucket lassie at that football match the other day? The grasshoppers, wasn't it? Yes. A right bunch. I've seen more life in a tramp's vest. They do lack method. Yeah, among a million other things. <laughs> Anyway, what's a good-looking lass like you doing trailing along after that lot? I feel I belong with the club. I play at school with the lads, and I really love football. But we need a real manager to stop the rot. What's wrong with the manager you've got now? Oh, he's not nasty and bossy enough to be a manager. Eh? Well, you know what I mean, Mr Blair. You've got... Well, how can I put it? Drive! Authority! 
X-ray eyes. Come out, grasshopper. Oh, we need a real manager, eh? Who oh, I used to play with the lads at school sometime. Get me a thing of a better act next time. It was my idea! Don't worry, love. There's more than one way to skin a jarry. Oh, not another nagging session to get Gannon with the grasshoppers. Oh, no, Mr Blair. Just a friendly call of enabling nature. I always think of bargain as a common kind of word. Don't you? How about best value? Hey, you're spot on with that. How about doing half a dozen? I won't say business is slow around here, but it certainly isn't brisk. Yes, son, can I help you? Yes, I'd like a pair of double backers. Size five, please. Double backers. Size five. Let's have a look. You don't want to buy anything from me. Just look what happened first time a kid's a ball with him. Well, why didn't you bring them back and ask for money back then? Well... He mentioned it to Blair in the street. He threatened to smack his ear. I was with him and we were both scared. And he's an hard man on the football field here. Yeah. But he's a crook in business. Mm. He should call us Blair's rip-off yeah. shop. Well, thank you for those kind words, pal. So I'm a crook and a con artist, am I? I ought to cart you two off to the cops. Ah, oh, but maybe I see it now. Put off my customers, boycott my trade, then if I become your manager, things might improve, eh? I'm afraid tact is not their strong point, Mr Blair. No, neither is twin striking, as I recall. Now off you go and practice a few mid-air collisions. Still, you aided and abetted them. No, you're wrong, Mr Blair. Jossie. Jossie. I merely dropped in out of friendship. Oh, well, I don't mind telling you, love. Things are bad. That's no way for a grown man to approach financial matters. Ah, oh, well, maybe you can come round sometime and help me with the, um, admin. Meanwhile, I've got to work on the books. Bye, then. Please, don't get too depressed. Depressed? Me? Never. One winner at the races and all my problems are solved. McDonald's bullet! That's my GG! Not another grasshopper. What do you do? Sit in the long grass, rubbing your knees together, making buzzing noises. Funny one. Anyway, I haven't got time to talk to you. I'm going to take Mr Nelson to the cleaners. I've picked a winner. How? How? What system do you use? System? Don't talk to me about system, son. Us Geordies rely on instinct. Whether it's football or horses, you've got to feel it here, kidder. You feel it in your pockets if you don't use the system. What do you know about horses, anyway? Lords. My dad used to be a national hunting jockey. Really? I don't suppose he said what he fancied for the three o'clock at Salisbury. Oh, he doesn't give me tips. He just tells me about owners, courses, conditions, that sort of thing. I usually put the variables through my computer. Get away. You're having me on. No. Hmm. There's a high wind forecast today in the south, so Hall of Fame should win the three o'clock by eight lengths. Never. McDonald's bullet will stroll it. McDonald's bullet? It'll come out the stalls the wrong way. You're wasting your money. We'll see. I reckon you've got your variables in a twist, kidder. Carpenter, new shelves. Two months ago? He'd wait. I said I'd use my influence to try to get him cup final tickets. Oh, Jossie. Try, I said, woman. Rates. First quarter. Ah, well, I've offered to pay on the never, never. I heard the never hassle businessmen. Electricity. Final demand. Payable a week ago. £156. Or else. <whistles> oh, you've just made my deal. How you guessed Hall of Fame would win, I don't know. Guess? I didn't guess. I just took account of all the relevant factors. Uh, brought some lads to see you. Uh, I'm business-like. I'm afraid you lads have come to the wrong place. I don't sell legs that run and feet that shoot straight. My dad says that this success is worth having, it's worth paying for. If you will agree to be our manager, you can take this, not one. 
Not two, but three hundred pounds now. We need a new image for the club, so we need a new set of shirts. In say uh, red and white, like Manchester United. Oh, any colours you choose. By my reckoning, that's hundred and fifty pounds gone. The other hundred and fifty pounds you can keep as a kitty to be used as and when necessary. In your judgment, we need new balls, nets, and the like. Come on, what do you say? I see. How about playing in black and white stripes? Oh, like, like Notts County, eh? Newcastle, Newcastle United. United. And you change your, our name to the Clifton Giants, eh? Agreed. Agreed. And we're called we're ground. St James's Park. Yeah. OK, then, that's settled. My dad's Bob Nelson the Bucky. As her manager, he offers you credit betting facilities. And I will offer you a weekly tip, worked out by my own unique system. You know, you little lads, I've just put a light back in my life. But what about the manager you've got? Oh, Albert, he'll be no trouble. He can be the coach. He'll be happy you're taking over anyway. Well, I must have a fairy godmother. What's this, pet? It's for you. Fleurs de rose, pour gente lums. It's cologne. It's nice. Scent? Me? Wearing scent? I'm sorry, lover, where I come from, the fellas don't use cosmetics. Poor. Right, lad, come on. And down and up. And down and up. Come on, lads, keep it going then. Down and up. Now, if you want to make it as professional footballers, remember, an ounce of effort is worth a pound of performance. Don't you know we've gone metric? <laughs> right, lads, up you get. <coughs> now then, we are a club for giants. I'll spell it out for you. G I E N. <laughs> G-I-A-N-T-S. Giants. What are we? Giants. Right. Not a hospital for wounded seals. Now, what are we doing press-ups for? Oh, to get fit. I'll tell you. To develop muscle. But muscle in the arms and shoulders is useless to a footballer. It's in the legs we need strength. Where? In, in the legs. legs. Right, tell me again. In, in the legs. legs. Right. I want a point of order. Now, in future... No one in this club except Albert here will address me as anything other than boss. OK? OK. Yeah. OK, boss. OK, yeah, boss. Oh, the and Fiora. <laughs> <laughs> right, form a single line. Single line? What's, What's this for? Listen, Albert. Now then, in future, no vests or body warmers will be worn underneath the Giants' jerseys. You will only be allowed to wear certain... Uh, Manager approved devices. Now make a note. I need 12 Glipton Corporation dustbin liners for the match on Saturday. Understood. And I want all mirrors in all dressing rooms, home and away, covered up. I don't need to lecture you, do I, Ricky? Just remember it's Newton Abbott this weekend, so I'd like something about eight to one. OK? Right, one last word from me. We are now the Glipton Giants. Josh's yes. Giants. What was that? Nothing, Josse. I mean, bossy. Uh, boss. Right. I want you all at St James's Park at nine o'clock on Saturday. Nine oh, o'clock? Oh, the kick-off's not until eleven. Well, that'll give us nigh on a couple of hours to improve on our new image then, won't it? What new image? What image? Barry? Hey, come on, lads. Behave yourselves. Make good money for that. Forget about all them pirouettes and Paz D. Dirkses. <laughs> this is not a do with ice dancing. This is, um, callis... callis... 
You know, loosening exercises. I'll loosen your looks today if you don't keep a clean sheet. Right. <laughs> Pay attention. Now then, I've been genning up on this uh, thermal consolation job. Right, Ricky, stand up. Arms up, sir. I've heard her playing rubbish, but that's dressing for that part. <laughs> right, move up and down, son. It looks like a Paris model. <laughs> More like penguins to me. Now look. Observe how loosely fits the um, equipment, the book. Looks kinky to me. <laughs> the um, body can sweat freely, and the elements cannot penetrate. Right, Ricky, you hold that. Right. Put on liners. Right, lads. Right, come on, gather round. Right, your Sevi. Put those out of that end. Right. I want to beat Malcolm McDonald three one on this board. Right now. Midfield. The midfield three are there to win the ball. What? Win, win the, the ball. ball. Right. Now, Ricky, this is you. Small and thick. <laughs> you are working your ticket, kidder. Now then, Ricky, I want you in on them like a rat, son. Tight, tight, tight. If it's a 50-50 ball, it's yours. What's with me? <laughs> I want you coming out fast or staying still and commanding the area. Right. Let's go out and get them giants. Right, run at them, Ross. Skin them. You've got the skill. OK, boss. When I was in me prime, you know, I always used to go out last. Me a few minutes to go. You've had a great game, son. So have all the lads. Keep it a nil-nil and I'll host the biggest nosh up ever. This ain't fair. Half the lads are over age. Look at them. Aye. Well, this is where a manager comes into his own. Come on! Come on, the Giants! I suppose you'd like to come to a toga party with me tonight, eh, handsome? You know, I'd have thought that with your physique and dash, you'd have been a striker. That's the glamour position. Nah, you've got to be really Rambo to be a goalie. See, striking's easy. All you do is stick your foot out, or your head. Fascinating. <laughs> what did you say your name was? Uh, it's Paul. Tell me more, Paul. When you're a goalie, you need reflexes like a cobra. You're on constant alert. Oh, watch it! Albert, it's been a precious day for me, this. Not just winning, seeing the smiles on those kids' faces, but precious because you're here to share the responsibility. Because, Albert, a manager's life is lonely. I know. But you've got a wife, lucky fella, so she can wash the kit this week. Oh, I nearly forgot. Here's your investment. Good lad. Worked it all out, have you? Nothing left to chance. OK, kid, eh? OK, boss. Merry Marauder. 
330 Newton Abbott. Cause he knows where they are going. Now it's St. James's Park. Your turn next to wash the strip. One big ear or one fat lip. Tackle hard and do your best. Just get out there and leave the rest. With your chassis. I'll show what it can do with his system. Justice!